G'day Best Book Bits family, Michael here and I just want to give a quick little whiteboard session on the three types of people that I see most common around the world. Be honest with yourself, which one are you? Are you a non-dreamer? Are you a dreamer? Or are you a dreamer and action taker? I'm going to deep dive into each particular one just to give some characteristics of what I see with uh, the three types of people that uh, around. So let's jump in to number one. So non-dreamers, the characteristics of non-dreamers I find are people that are normally cheap. These people are cheap. Another characteristic of non-dreamers, you will find people that are critics. They generally aren't people that dream and aren't people that take action. So for non-dreamers, we've got cheap, critics, people that are negative. If you're negative, you probably are a non-dreamer. People that are goalless, so people that don't have goals generally don't think. And uh, when I say don't think, I don't mean that critically. I mean they don't think critically. Um, they don't have goals. They don't have dreams. So hence, they're goalless. Another characteristic of non-dreamers is people that don't believe. So they have no belief. They're people that have given up on life, generally, for whatever reason. People that know it all. People that know it all generally think they know it all. And in turn, if you know it all, you don't know it all. So, know it all. I don't think I'm going to do this video. Hmm, I think I'll give up. See, that would be the trait of a non-dreamer, someone that gave up. So, people that give up in life are generally non-dreamers because if you've given up on your dream, it means you actually don't have your dream anymore. And another characteristic of non-dreamers are people that have no imagination. Okay, that's a bit blunt. I know, I apologise, but these are just my thoughts on the three types of people. So, we've looked at number one, non-dreamers. Number two, I want to talk about dreamers, okay? So dreamers are people who think. So we've got the characteristic of thinkers. So if you're one of these people that think, congratulations, you're in the dreaming category. Another characteristic I find of dreamers are people that research. So these people that love information, lots of YouTube, lots of Spotify, lots of books, lots of reading. These people are researchers, always looking for the answers. A lot of researchers are savers. Now, savers aren't necessarily spenders, so people that are hoarding money and saving for something in the future. Another massive characteristic of dreamers are people that have ideas. So, what that means is, it doesn't mean you're an action taker. You might have some ideas, but it doesn't mean you will actually complete those ideas. So that's a characteristic of the second type of people that I've categorized, and they're called dreamers. Another characteristic of people that journal. So if you journal, you are a dreamer because you're thinking a lot and you like to journal and get it out of your head as do I. So journalers. And look, being positive um, is there as well. So it obviously it beats negative. So as you can see here, there's two characteristics, non-dreamers and dreamers. There's a massive correlation, the difference between dreamers and non-dreamers as well. Now the third type of people are the people that actually move the needle forward. These are the people that are dreamers and action takers. What am I mean by that, Michael? Okay, so, action takers. These are the 10% of the people that is gonna move humanity forward for the 90% or have done already in the past. These people act in spite. So if you're the number three and if you resonate with dreamers and action takers, you're the kind of person who acts in spite. Acts in spite of criticism, acts in spite of the non-dreamers, okay? And also, acts in spite of dreamers who don't act. So that's the biggest difference between number two and number three. They have the same characteristics. All dreamers and action takers have one stage or another been cheap. They've been critics, they've been negative, they have been goalless, they had no belief, they thought they knew it all, they've also given up at a stage, and they had no, ima no imagination. They graduated to number two, which was dreamers. So yes, they think, yes, they research, yes, they save, yes, they have ideas, yes, they journal, and yes, they are positive. But the difference between one, two, and three is this little word here, and that is action, and the biggest one is act in spite of. Another characteristic, if you are called crazy, and I've been called crazy many times, and it's actually a positive thing to be called crazy, it just means the other people have misunderstood your direction, your gift, and where you're going in your life. So if you've been called crazy, if you act in spite, congratulations, you are number three, which is a dreamer and action taker. 
Another characteristic of dreamers and action takers is courage. Courage is massive. It's not just a word, it's not just a feeling. It's actually, a, is it a verb where you're actually doing something? So to be courageous, you actually have to do something in spite of and to be called crazy by the non-dreamers. Another massive characteristic of dreamers and action takers is they network. They actually invest in people, not just things. So if you network, if you're courageous, if you've been called crazy and you act in spite of, congratulations, you are number three. A couple other things, as I said, they not only invest in people, they invest in themselves. So they pull out their wallet, grab their credit card and pop in the details and purchase things and people, courses and products things that's going to move them into action. So they actually spend money on themselves. So that's a massive characteristic. You won't see a lot of people who are non-dreamers pulling out their wallet, getting their credit card out to invest in themselves. They will purchase things that aren't goal orientated. Another huge one too that I found that action takers and dreamers have in common is their creators. They Yes, they think, yes, they plan, but they actually create, they bring into manifestation what's in their mind into physical reality. So think of all the billionaires, millionaires in the world, these are people who actually create. Now, massive characteristic of the number three, these people are realist. So yes, they were, they're dreamers. So you've got non-dreamers, number one. You've got people that dream. And people that act, they actually get results. So being Results in being a realist are very common and they're very similar. So they're not high in the sky and they don't have dreams. They actually see with very clear eyes. And that's because of results. Acting will give you feedback. So only through action will you actually get feedback. If you don't act, you don't get feedback. And if you don't act, you'll never know if you're winning or losing. You would just be a loser. And the other last trait is they build. They build on their failures. They build on their positive, they, they build on everything. So every day is just another brick in the wall. And eventually in 10 years time, they will have a high wall. And that's why dreamers and action takers move the world for the non-dreamers. And yes, there's always a transition period for dreamers. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Am I wrong? Am I right? This is just a whiteboard session. I'm in the studio at the moment doing my bookshelf. And I just thought, hey, there are three types of people in the world. People that are non-dreamers, people that dream, and dreamers and action takers. So just want to be raw, unedited, uncut. Tell me what you think. This is all new to me, bought this whiteboard recently, so it's quite cool. We'll start seeing more sessions. Um, and yeah, thanks guys. So are you number one? Are you number two? Are you number three? I really just want to speak to the two and threes. Number one, people will not watch this. They'll probably turn off in the five, first five seconds. So I'm glad you sticked around to the end. Let me know what you think. If there's videos you want me to talk about, you want to talk to me socially, jump on Instagram, jump on Facebook. Uh, all the links are down at the bottom where you can follow me, shoot me through an email. Yeah. Let me know your thoughts. Give me some hate. Give me some love. Give me some real shit. So let's do it. Over and out. Take care. Bye-bye now. And yes, you will see more book summaries. These are just little videos that I'm doing um, just to talk about some of the things that I'm thinking about lately. So look forward to seeing you on the other side. And yeah, have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye now.